Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can safely overclock your Ryzen CPU for gaming and performance, how you can optimize to get the best out of your CPU. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is coming to the AMD Ryzen Master page and downloading this software's latest version right over here. You can simply go down to the download section and then click on download now, install it on your PC and voila. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it, I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally, you can get Windows 11 Pro for $235.99, but on this sale, you can get it for $32.23. And if you use my code FOX25, you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Once you're in this software, it should look like this. And this is the basic view of your Ryzen Master. It will tell you about your AMD processor and all of its statistics. As soon as you open it, it will come up with a warning. You just have to simply agree to it. And once you're on this page, you'll find in all of these things. Now for all of you guys who do not want to dig very deep into all of the settings and want quick optimizations, you can always select the control mode to default and set the curve optimizer mode to all cores. If you're playing games, all cores will work best for you guys. And if you're working on editing or graphics, you can select per core to improve the performance. Once you select it, simply hit on start optimizing and then click on OK. There is also an alternative setting, which is the auto OC right over here. So simply turn on auto OC and also enable all cores right over here to improve the overall CPU performance of your PC. Note that if you're on a laptop, Try avoid auto OC because it can lead to very high temperatures on your laptop and if you are not in a very cool environment, it can also damage your CPU. Now once again, head over to the advanced view for all of the ballers. Over here in the home section, you can see all of the statistics of your CPU. Now you have a built-in creator mode for all of those who want to use the processor for creation graphics and other things then there is also a game mode which is specifically designed for all of the gamers out there personally i use my cpu for gaming a lot more than the creator mode so once you are here select a precision boost overdrive and this will set it to the most optimal value this will be the best settings for laptop as well as desktop users but if you are a desktop user with liquid cooling installed on your cpu i recommend you guys to go with auto overclocking once you select the overclock Simply select apply and test. Apply and test basically helps you to run a stress test before applying all of these settings. And if the stress test fails, your PC will reboot in safe mode and all of the settings will be automatically reverted. This will ensure that it does not damage your product or lead to failure. You can also save it to a particular profile. Also, in the additional control settings which is included, you'll find simultaneous multi-threading. You can simply turn this thing on if it is already turned off. It will help you to increase your CPU's performance by a ton. You also have a curve optimizer right over here, but I recommend you guys not to do anything in this curve optimizer. You can always use the basic view to change anything that you want in the curve optimizer. At any given time of your overclock, I recommend you guys to have a look on your temperature. Make sure that in the idle state of your PC, the temperature does not exceed 75 degrees Celsius. If it is exceeding 75 degrees Celsius on the base clock, then I recommend you guys not to do the OC because it will damage your CPU. Step number two is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Click on your local disk C or any drive with C system. Click on create and name it Ryzen. 
just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to ensure your system safety and restoration of all of the settings without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Ryzen Master CPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can alternatively join my Discord server for ADD downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find in three simple folders. First one is the AMD CPU Priority. I highly recommend you guys to run the AMD CPU Priority as it will help you to change the registries of your CPU, allowing it to draw more power and perform more optimally. Go back, open up the second folder which has unparked CPU. Simply double click to run it. This is a very simple application that helps you to disable core parking. If you guys are not aware of it, Windows by default has a tendency to park all of the unused cores. This leads to performance loss and reduced output. To fix it, you'll firstly find a system plan over here and for that I recommend you guys to set it to high performance. If you have ultra performance, go with ultra performance as well and then click on set as active. Right beneath that, you'll find core parking index. Set it all the way to 100% towards unpark and click on apply. This will make sure that all of the cores are enabled and none of it is parked, allowing you to get better performance on your PC. Third folder is a disable unwanted services and over here you'll find all of these registry files. This will help you to disable unwanted services running in the background, basically reduces the stress on your CPU and the number of processes are running in the background. It will help you to increase your FPS and overall performance of your CPU. And once again, if you don't like it, you can always go to revert registries and revert all of these settings back to normal. Next is disabling sysmain and it is also very essential. Press your windows key and then search for services. Once you are here, press S on your keyboard and find sysmain in this list. Over here, right click on this, go over to properties and then startup type, set this thing to disabled, click on OK. Sysmain is prefetch and it consumes a lot of services in the background and disabling that will help you to increase the overall performance of your CPU. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your subscription would really help me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.